So I'm really lucky to be here in Boston in 2016 at ASLD and what we're presenting is from the phase three data uh, which led to the licensing of obituchoic acid. And when obituchoic acid was licensed, it's been licensed on a, a surrogate, the improvement in liver blood tests in patients with PBC. So we know that our patients with PBC who've got high liver enzymes, essentially high alt-FOS, do worse. And what's clear is that obituchoic acid improves their alkaline phosphatase by three months. There's significant improvements and it meets the primary endpoint at 12 months in the study. But what we're all looking for, but we have to be patient, is, is, is evidence that it's not just improvement in blood tests, it's improvement in something more tangible for our patients. And that generally in liver disease is about less fibrosis, less liver scarring. To measure liver scarring, there are other surrogates that are used and two surrogates which are commonly used, one is the APRI, which is the AST to platelet ratio, and the other, which is gaining popularity, is elastography as a measure of liver stiffness and liver fibrosis. So this is a post hoc analysis of patients who are in the POIS study, who then went on to the long-term safety extension, who've been given this drug for a prolonged period of time. And essentially what we're showing is an improvement. We're showing an improvement, um, early signs, early data, um, needs greater power and greater duration, but just as we saw an improvement in the liver biochemistry with OCA, we're seeing an improvement in the APRI, and we're seeing the right signs in the right direction for the improvement in elastography. And this is what we knew all along, that the real benefit for this drug is going, to be, is going to be in the long term. And it's going to take many years to demonstrate that the, you know, beyond the surrogate of biochemistry. And this is that early steps in that direction. There is a group of patients who do get an exacerbation of their itch. PBC is a symptomatic disease, itch is a feature of that disease. And OCA has a dose-dependent effect um, on pruritus. So the first thing is that through dose titration, you minimize the, the itch. But you need to really tell your patients in advance that there is a potential that a small proportion of them will itch more. But when you look at the data from the, the phase three study, that itch often uh, peaks and then gets better. So that if you hang in there, it improves. And the second thing is that we have very good supportive care for our patients with PBC. So in, in my practice, we use cholestyramine and rifampicin to treat itch. So we've got a lot to offer. And if you do the combined approach of showing your patient the benefit of the liver tests, reassuring them that itch does occur in, in a proportion but gets better, and then, uh, in essence, using other drugs like cholestyramine or rifampicin, or if necessary, small um, reductions in the dose, then the vast majority of patients are going to be able to cope with this drug, and we hope get the benefit.